my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I have got some products that were sent to me by Tina over at She Modern and I have reviewed and demoed products of theirs on my channel before. It's been a while. Um, they actually sent this to me quite a while back and um, then then I, I got sick and the house looked like it was going to flood and, and then I just got stormtrooper. I just you didn't have enough time. But I always get excited when I see this green envelope show up from Tina over at She Modern because she always just sends me some really cool stuff to play with. So, I'm going to show you guys what she sent me. Um, first of all, she sent me some more nail foil stickers and nail foil art stickers. I've got some butterflies and little fishies and some hearts. And they're just hollow and beautiful and just, they're so much fun. And I don't know that we're going to play with these today. We'll see. This might be a whole other video. Okay, so the, the thing we're going to play with today are these stencils. Um, these are really cool. These are reusable and they're hollow. Look how pretty. Um, they've got different lines. You know, this was circles and then like fans and kind of teardrops or raindrops, diamonds, and then hearts. Those are all really, really cute. And these are totally reusable. I love that. And this is the new product that they've got out. I've seen others review it, some of my other friends on YouTube. And these are just so much fun. I'm really excited about playing with it. I'm going to go ahead and open one up so I can show you what we're talking about. But they're completely reusable. They're, there's just so many things you can do with them. And again, you've got your canvas. Like if you wanted to mix some polishes on it, you put the plastic over it and you can see what it looks like over the dark and then you just wipe it clean with acetone when you're done which is lovely okay so here is the stencil it's got a protector over it look you can't even hardly see that but it's got a little protector over it and then a card stock behind it to keep it nice and flat when you've got it in storage and I've got two of them and it's kind of important to have two of them and when I get to play them with them you'll get to see that out of the way. So I'm going to hold this over this black so you can see it a little better. But you can use this down here for like a French tip design. Or you could even do, you know, like the the circled end. You could do like that um, ruffian look. It's got a little wavy line down the side you could use and a straight edge. So we're going to play with this one today for sure. I'll put these together so I can um, you know have them when we're ready. And I am going to play with this one on my accent nail. I'm going to do an accent nail with this reusable stencil with the designs on it. Um, I always love their packaging. It's so pretty. And it's always got instructions on the back. On the She Modern website, there are lots of videos that you could go check out to um, watch how many different ways some of these products can be used. So I will be sure to leave a link down below for SheModern.com and um, I believe they also have a YouTube channel you can watch some stuff on. So I'm going to quit yakking and I'm going to speed this up and get to, uh, you know, playing. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm starting this manicure off with Nail Tweaks Formula 2 as my base and here is Moonshine Manny's hollow pretty pink goodness called true love and here we go with our first coat of true love just such a gorgeous polish got a really nice formula but we're gonna do a couple of coats of this and um, put some top coat on it let it dry completely before we start playing with the stencils I'm very very excited I'm normally not a um, glitter fan as far as loose glitter, but for something like this, it's really cool. So here we go with our second coat of True Love. Pinching my finger back so I can, you know, get up in that nook and cranny without getting polish everywhere. And then we're going to top it with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. Makes that hollow just jump out at you, which is always nice, you know. I think that's our attraction to the hollow. It jumps out at us. <laughs> okay, now that that's all dry, I'm going to be using this um, nail foil glue. 
uh, to work with these glitters and these stencils. And nail foil glue goes on kind of milky or kind of like iridescent looking. And when it's dry, it looks completely clear. So there we go. And mine's drying pretty quickly. And what you're going to do with this um, nail stencil is you're going to line it up the best you can and once you've got it in place you're going to use the other stencil to mush it down flat and make sure that it's sticking down all the way across the nail and mine are quite curvy i'm going to be using these glitter packets that i got from walmart today and i will show you how i'm doing this in just a minute i i don't know what happened to the footage but you just tap some onto a you know stamper and then apply it that way or you can tap it on with your finger and here we go using the stencil that's got the designs on it. This is really fun, I'm telling y'all. And I'm going to put this extra stencil up at the top so that um, I don't get the blue glitter all over that part of the nail. You see, I'm just putting a little bit on there, and then I use my finger to tap it down and spread it out over that um, stamper. And I'm just using an old stamper that's got boo-boos on it, and it's fine. Look at that. Love the little circles. And I do another set of them off camera. I'm, I am going to show you me doing another tip, but I, I, I don't know what was up with my camera today. It just was acting crazy and cutting footage out, and I don't know. We might have an issue. So we're going to tap that down with our finger to make sure it's sticking, and then pull that stencil off. And I just take a little brush and kind of clean up the excess. You could use a piece of tape. And we're going to top this one off with some Pro FX top coat. And I do wipe my brush off on a paper towel before putting it back in the bottle. Hello, Woody. How you doing? Um, as to not contaminate. I don't want to contaminate that bottle and have glitter floating around in it. So that's how we do that. And I am being sure to cap my ends. And I am looking forward to playing with these more. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Here is my swatch photo, and I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.